Hey guys, Professor Bill, Common Folk University, Toy Division. I'm here with my assistant, Cal. Say hi. 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 And we're going to be opening up, unboxing, opening, and reviewing the uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider figure. Because, yeah, you see that cool special effect? Look how cool that is. Look at that. All those other people with their film editing, Psh, they got nothing on this. All right. See how I did that? Is this like magic. Is is what? This is no big, no humans allowed. No humans allowed. Not big one. Really? Looked like it said attention. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, so see it's on the back. It's kind of cool. Sides, awesome. Both the sides. Top, it's a flaming skull. Bottom, <laughs> UPC. Yeah, this is a sick figure. I saw one in the store. Now, the way that these come in the store, um, well, they come like this. But the, um, the box, the case that they come in, it'll be two Cosmic Ghost Riders and one Squirrel Girl. Yeah, and a Squirrel Girl with the, um, the thing, the thing, whatever. Anyway, somebody apparently came in before I did and bought the Squirrel Girl and the other Cosmic Ghost Rider. Oh well, at least there was a Cosmic Ghost Rider for me. I kind of want the Squirrel Girl. You know, it comes with a little scooter and um, to, to be I can't remember what the tippy toe, whatever, anyway, the, the squirrel. But this is the real prize for me. Um, met Donny Cates, interviewed Donny Cates, totally cool guy. Uh, a rad guy, he says rad a lot. <laughs> he says dope, he says dope a lot. And this is a pretty dope figure. I, yeah, I think it was Dylan Barnett, who's also the, uh, the guy who did the Cosmic Ghost Rider series with him. Forget if he did the uh, Thanos Wins storyline where uh, Donny Cates actually first introduced this character. Anyway, it's of course Frank Castle in and of himself. Hmm, do these go on the outside or the inside? Let me see. It looks like they go on the inside. Yeah, it looks like they go on the inside. Anyway. Well, I get a motorcycle out. That's right, the, the Space Hog. I wish that Lobo came with me when I when I did my uh, Collect and Connect Lobo and built him. I wish that it came with his space hog and dog because that would be cool. Hey Lobo, hey, stop! What you're doing is you're pushing it. And you're pushing all the stuff to fall over and on top of me, and then I can't even get a grip on this. So just hold on, all right? Thank you. You wanted to help. I know you do. And you're going to. So I just moved that tape. Go ahead, take out the other one. The other flame gun. Look at that, it like shoots fire. Yeah. Hurry up, I'm shooting you. Can you put that back on? I need to pull this over so I can see it to take it out. Ah, oh, yes, they got the tape right over top of it and everything. Can you put it on? Give it to me so you don't. How about you stop trying to take other things until uh, one thing is done, dude? What are you doing? Okay, so this side and right on top of there. Boom! Look at that. Pew! You wanna shoot me? Oh wait, it's falling off. You, you dead are really rough. There you go, take it slowly. There you go. Wait, you just shot me? Yeah. I'm letting you play with things and that's my reward, you shoot me? You're such a bully. <laughs> The evil laugh. Oh wow! Double barrel shooting me. Pew, 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 pew. How rude! Uh, no, because this is where the garbage has to go. We recycle in this family. Don't forget that. I'm going to put it inside. Well, I'm going to put it inside of here and then put it inside the recycling. Boom. Huh? People would not know any toys out there. <laughs> They'll say, hey, are there toys in there? Oh no. The person bought the, the figure and kept the toy but threw out the box. There. In the recycling. Okay. Let's get started. Well, how did you do that? Oh, I could do it without. <laughs> when you start doing karate class. You'll learn. Cool? Okay. Awesome. Oh, wait, 
I don't know karate. Not yet. But you still practice and it's fun. Yeah. You farted too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's messed up, man. But my mouth was open. What's up with that? <laughs> All right. So let's get started and plug this guy in on the side. The exhaust system. Somebody's exhaust system just went off and it is stinky. Hmm. Okay. So this could either go in or stay out. Either way, the blast caps would actually have to come off in order to put these things in here. I love this little fire. Is it a fire? Mm -hmm. I guess. Should we put this in there? <gasps> Why would we do such a thing? Huh, this is this interesting. Or... One of these actually has a, a little lead on the back and the other one doesn't. And it actually makes perfect sense because these two guns were not created equally. So one has a, a, a sliver in it. The other one does not. Hope you can see it. This one does not have a sliver in it. Of course, I could just take this off and make it hopefully easier for you guys to see. So the one that has an extra part over here, clearly this is the one that has, yep, doesn't slide right in, but it does slide in. I'm genuinely curious why they made this this way. It is the weirdest friggin' thing. Like, what purpose does that serve? Why not just make them both the same? Maybe I'll find out at some point in the future, but the other one clearly goes in a whole lot easier. So I don't know what this is. It's like a cosmic flashlight or something. I guess you can <laughs> put it up on top and do a searchlight. Oh, there we go. I think this is what it's for. I don't know what the end is supposed to be for there. What's uh, what's going on with that? Yeah, it doesn't even show it really. Just is what it is. It just ends the way that it ends. Okay, so I guess he can just have it on both sides. Anyway, yep. So he can just have this part in his hand. And what about the fire? Those will just have to stay on the side. That is a very especially weird thing. It'd be nice if there's a place that these can go elsewise, but there's not. So. We just have to hope that they don't get lost. Actually, I wonder if I can put them on the ends of... Oh, wait a second. Okay, see, that would be cool if I could put them on the ends there. Anyway, oh, wait a second. Yeah, this does go on there because it's part of the handlebars, which means there's supposed to be one more of the... Oh, and there it is. See, when I only saw one, I had no idea what it was for. Now that I see two, it's clearly to go on there. He needs handlebars. Handlebars for the motorcycle. Whoop, so I guess he just holds on to the fiery part in and of itself. So now we have to put this on. I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to go on. Because this just does not look right. Does it go inside of it somewhere? It's got to, right? Wait a second. Okay, it's a weird, really weird looking little ball. I wonder if I can do this without the instructions. Because I am a man. Men do not need instructions, right? Mm -hmm. That's a lie. Don't believe that nonsense. We need instructions. Right now I could really use a pair, pack of instructions. If this is supposed to totally close over top of here like this. Oh, <laughs> wait a second, I get it. Never mind. I have figured it out. Okay, so for the sake of conversation, these things do stay inside because they look kind of cool. You can see the inside. One has this uh, little divot inside and the other one does not. So when you look at the bike, there's a divot uh, there. So you male and female link it up. Goes inside there like that. You slide in all the way. And there's little hex nut areas where the, the, the lightning or whatever the stuff is can go inside as well. Fit that in, there you go, nice and firm. 
look for the two divots up on top and let's actually try and put these lightning effects inside here like that. This is actually really cool. I, I dig the way they did this. But there, so that's how the uh, things are supposed to go. They didn't bother showing it like that. Anyway, that is awesome. It's going to fall. That's cool, because I got this. It does not actually pop inside, apparently. But watch your fingers. There you go. See, you can do it sideways, up, straight down. The ball will limit it. Anyway. Can you turn it? Of course you can turn it. Look, it's turnable. It's very turnable. Turn style, baby. Let's put this in his hand. Let's get this guy situated. There's nothing to really lock him in. Let me bring him a little bit closer so I can see him before I start demonstrating what I can't see. Nice. And, oh, good. The, the left hand, at least, is, is, is you know, with the Kung Fu grip, the G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip, uh, the Cosmic Ghost Rider with the Kung Fu grip. You can just kind of force his hand over top of, as opposed to sliding through. A lot of the Marvel Legends and the DC okay. collectibles especially, you have to slide through. Yes, I got it in just by popping it over top of the bar, as opposed to sliding the bar through. So that's cool. So bang, this is a pretty cool figure, right? And then, of course, you got two these two little guys that go on the end of his guns if you want to use his guns. So that is the Cosmic Ghost Rider. That'd be cool if like the head popped off and oh! Oh, look at that! Oh. You could paint this red and make it for, you know, under the red hood or something. Does the head actually pop off? That is going to be kind of important to me. Am I going to destroy this for the sake of you guys seeing it? Okay, I'm looking at it. Get out of town. Okay. It's it's high. It's high. Wait, it's, hold on, hold on. Please stop. Just for a second. Okay, so the, that, that ball is high up there. But as long as you have this fire effect over top, it's kind of okay. And then, of course, you put this on top. But what that means is, if you can find an, uh, a, um, a head that looks like Old Man Frank, you could potentially, possibly... Put that on and make it look cool. Go ahead, put that glass part back on. Don't force it. Let me help you, let me help you, let me help you. If you yeah, you, you don't have it on, you're gonna rip it, dude. Don't force things, there we go. Boom! So I'm gonna raise that. Of course, the shoulders, which, oh, okay. These are actually sharp. <laughs> Even though they're, they're malleable on the side, um, just on the top, go ahead, push on the top. Sharp, huh? Careful. Hey, hey, come on, man. You don't have to bend them over. Sheesh. Relax there, bud. Oh, it didn't hurt me. Well, I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> it stopped hurting the toy. So, boom. There's Cosmic Ghost Rider. Looking good, Mr. Kata. <laughs> I know, right? Let me put this guy away. All right. Cosmic Ghost Rider. How you doing? I'm kind of hoping that Mr. Donny Cates and everybody involved actually gets a um, some kind of commission off of this. I mean, or at the very least, at least gets a free one because, I mean, how rude otherwise, right? But anyway, there you go. There's the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Professor Bill and Cal. Comic Book University. Toy Division. Class dismissed. Bye-bye.